Okay, let's begin. Um, so this week in classes, I've been focusing on a two-to-one breathing practice. This two-to-one breathing practice is a really simple, it's often underrated, I'm sorry, overrated, okay, whoa. <laughs> underrated and overlooked, I was getting all tongue twisted, um, breathing practice because it is super simple but super effective. So a lot of the other breathing practices that you maybe are familiar with like Nadi Shodhana or Bastrika breath, even Ujjayi breath, they take a little bit more of the kind of physical presence of the body, of the mind. You have to kind of work a little bit more, it requires more energy and it requires more stillness. Whereas this breathing practice you could utilize at any point in time throughout the day and it would in have immediate results results in down-regulating your sympathetic nervous system. So some facilitators were out to kind of study this. So they took some meditators into a lab and asked them to begin their meditation practice. They attached electrodes to their heads and those little um, clamps to their, their fingers to test their, um, their blood pressure, their heart rate, and any inflammatory markers as well as the brain waves that presented in their, in their heads when they went into their meditative state. And typically meditators will breathe um, with an equanimous breath, so equal inhale to exhale in terms of length and intensity and depth. So maybe it would be like a five count inhale and a five count exhale, right? What this two to one, so, so what happened is, is they asked them to go into this meditative state. They started breathing in that way and um, there was no change to their sympathetic nervous system. They remained heightened in their blood pressure, heightened in their um, heart rate, and there was no changes to their brain waves. When the facilitator asked the meditators to elongate their exhalation to double the length of their inhalation, so maybe they were counting to five on an inhale and 10 on an exhale, there were immediate results, immediate downregulation of the, of the sympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight response and their heart rate decreased, their blood pressure decreased, and they dropped into the theta brainwave state, which is essentially like your um, deepest relaxation state before sleep. So we're gonna play with this two to one breathing practice today to help kind of drop you into your um, body, into your mind, and then hopefully you can take this as a tool outside of your practice and utilize it if you're you know, gonna have a difficult conversation with a friend or a loved one or you know, about to ask for a raise at work or go into a difficult meeting, you can utilize this breathing practice to calm and center yourself. So let's begin by coming into a comfortable seat and let's layer your left foot in front of your right so that it's easy to transition into our flow after this. Okay, and then you'll just take the backs of your hands into your lap. You can layer one on top of the other. Close down your eyes. Let your shoulders roll down your back. And just begin by taking a few moments here to connect with your breath. Don't worry about the length of your inhale or your exhale. Just focus on where your breath begins, where it ends. How easily, fluidly it comes into the body. Let your tongue float in your mouth. Your jaw comes unhinged. Eyes rest behind your eyelids. Do a little body scan here. Noticing if you have any physical pain, tension, discomfort. Are there emotional manifestations that attribute to that physical pain? Take one more slow, deep breath here.
And we'll do five rounds of this double elongated exhalation breath, two to one breathing. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last round. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big breath in and big breath out. Take a moment here to kind of vibrate in the frequency of your breath. And as you're ready, circle your arms up and over your head, lift your gaze to your thumb line. And exhale, twist to the right. Left hand finds right knee, right hand behind your back, gaze over your right shoulder. As you inhale, reach your arms back up and over your head. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, arms up and over your head. Now you might need to use your hands for this, but you might not. Start to draw your knees into your belly. So again, your left ankle is in front of your right. And then see if you can rise all the way up to standing from here without using your hands. If you need your hands, use them. Then from here, we'll exhale, fold over your crossed legs, take your hands to the mat. Just take a little moment here to bow. Your right leg can stay straight, left leg can be semi-bent. For two. And one, you'll start to inhale, press to straight arms, flat back. Good, leave your right hand as is. Extend your right leg back behind you. Left arm goes up for revolved, half moon. Gaze towards your left fingers. And I know we're just getting started, so don't force the left leg straight. Don't worry about how deeply you twist. Just meet yourself where you are for two.
and one, you'll gently bend your left knee and lower the ball of your right foot down behind you, left arm is up. Heel toe your left foot out nice and wide and bring your left hand down to the inside of your left foot. Drop your right knee to the floor. Kickstand your right knee to face the right long edge of the mat and then reach your right arm over your head for side angle with your shin down. Continue to melt into your front knee until your inner thigh starts to stretch for three. Two. One, you'll inhale, rise up onto your right shin for gatekeeper, left leg straightens. Exhale, lower your right hand down behind you, left arm over your head. Press the heads of your hip bones open to the long edge of your mat. And breathe here. On your next exhalation, your left hand circles down to the floor. You'll spin your right knee towards your right wrist and melt into pigeon right side. Forearms come down, chest and chin can come down. <sighs> Deep, easy breath. For two. And one, start to inhale, press yourself back up to straight arms. Turn your back toes under, and then send your right leg into the air, three-legged dog. Exhale to step your right foot forward to the space between your hands. Gently cross your left ankle behind your right, and then fold over your crossed legs to bow. So again, your front knee can be somewhat bent if that feels comfortable for you. Try to work your back leg straight so you can feel that stretch travel down the outside of your left leg. On an inhale, let's press to straight arms flat back. Left leg lifts into the air behind you. Right arm travels up for revolved half moon. Gaze towards your right fingers. Gently bend your right knee and step your left foot down behind you for lizard. And then heel toe your right foot out nice and wide so you can bring your right hand down to the inside of your right foot. You'll lower your left knee to the floor. Kickstand your left leg so it faces the left long edge of your mat. And then reach your left arm over your head for your side angle on your shin. As you inhale, you'll rise up with a straight right leg. And exhale, lower your left hand down for gatekeeper, right arm over your head. Gently circle your right hand down as you exhale and spin your left knee towards your left wrist for pigeon. Drop your forearms down and melt into your pose.
Last two. And one, start to inhale, press yourself up to straight arms. Exhale to step your left leg into the air, three-legged downward facing dog. Good, now inhale, left foot steps forward the space between your hands. Right foot to follow, come into a flat back. No need to cross your legs here. Bow over your thighs. Then inhale to bend your knees and rise into chair, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Right side, warrior one. Step right foot to right thumb. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, open to warrior two. You'll inhale into a lifted skandhasana. So left knee bends, right leg straightens. Don't go so low that you can't come back up. Good. Now exhale into revolved warrior three. Right knee bends, left arm forward, right arm back. Left leg extends into the air behind you. Inhale, swivel up to revolve the Tita Hasta. So right arm forward to catch your left foot, left arm towards the back of the room. Then we exhale, cross your ankles, fold over your legs, bow your head. This will make more sense as we do it more times. Inhale, flat back, look up, lift your right leg. Exhale, step your right foot down behind you. Inhale, rise to warrior one, left side. Exhale, open to warrior two. Inhale, right knee bends, left leg straightens for skandhasana. Exhale, revolved warrior three, right leg lifts, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, swivel up to revolved Utita Hasta. Left hand catches right foot. Right arm opens you to the back of the room. Exhale, cross your ankles, lower your hands, and fold. All right, here we go again. Inhale, flat back, left leg lifts. Exhale, drop your foot down behind you. Inhale, rise to warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, left knee bends, right leg straightens. Exhale to revolved, warrior three. Inhale, revolved, utita hasta. Swivel up like a little windmill. Exhale, lower your ankles to cross and fold. Inhale, flat back, right leg lifts. Exhale, step back. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, right side skandhasana. Exhale, left side revolved, warrior three. Inhale, rise to revolve, Dutita Hasta. Exhale, cross your ankles, fold over your legs. Okay, one more round. Inhale, flat back, left leg lifts. Exhale, step your foot down behind you. Inhale, rise to warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, left side skandhasana. Exhale, right side revolved, warrior three. Inhale, rise to revolve, Dutita Hasta. 
Exhale, cross your ankles, fold over your legs. Last side, inhale, flat back, right leg lifts. Exhale, lower your foot down. Inhale, rise to warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, right side skandasana. Exhale, left side revolved warrior three. Inhale, swivel to revolve to Tita Hasta. Exhale, cross your ankles and fold over your legs. Good, we're gonna add on. Inhale, flat back, left leg lifts. Exhale, drop your left foot down. Inhale, rise to warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, left side skandasana, go as low as you like this time, kind of melting into your pose. And then if you want to add your bind, left arm wraps around left shin, right arm behind your back, and you gaze over your right shoulder. Good, maybe you can turn your right toes to the sky, finding external rotation through your thigh for three. Two. And one, release your bind if you've got it. Right fingertips line up with left toe tips. We did this last week. You're gonna turn the ball of your right foot down and come into lizard at the back of the mat, just like a twisted runner's lunge, gaze towards your left fingers. Now gently lower your right knee to the floor. Kickstand your right knee to the right long edge of the mat and rise up onto your right shin for that gatekeeper prep position. Right hand drops down to the front of the room, left arm over your head. Nice, so traveling all around the mat, press into your right palm. Send your right leg out in front of you for fallen triangle. Roll your left rib cage to the sky. For three. Two. On one, left hand circles down to the mat. Play with Ekapada Kundinyasana, so right knee bends. You take the outside of your right thigh to the backs of your arms and tip forward, allowing your legs to straddle out. Good, if you're holding, hold for three. Nice, Carol. Two. And one, jump back, Chaturanga. Yes, beautiful pop. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Big deep breath in. And big deep breath out. Inhale, step your left foot forward, rise to warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, right side skandasana, melt into your right knee and bind around your right shin if you're moving into the full expression. Gaze over your left shoulder. Deep, easy breath for three. Two. And one, you'll release your bind. Left fingers line up with right toes. Pivot on the ball of your left foot into a twisted runner's lunge at the back. Right arm up, gaze to right fingers. Beautiful, exhale, lower your left knee down. Kickstand your left knee to the left long edge of the mat and rise onto your shin for gatekeeper. Lowering your left hand down to the floor, right arm over your head. Good. 
Press firmly into your left hand. Inhale, extend your left leg out in front of you for fallen triangle. Roll your right ribs, right armpit towards the sky. Deep breath for three. Two. And one, right hand comes down to the floor. Your back heel lifts. Left knee bends as you soften the outer thigh to the back of your arms to play with your kundanyasana. If you're holding, hold for three, two, one. Jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Awesome. Big deep breath in and out. Breath in and out. All right, from here, let's inhale, travel forward, feet to hands. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, rise into chair, arms reach up. Exhale, take weight into your left foot. And inhale, rise to stand, bring your right knee with you. Then exhale into a figure four chair. Send your booty back, offer your heart over your thigh. Great. Okay, taking this to the next level. The back of your right tricep comes to the sole of your right foot for twist. Gaze over your left shoulder. From here, maybe you can start to elongate your arms. I'm gonna pivot so you can see me better. And your arms will kind of straddle out. You're gonna clip your right toes into the back of your right arm and try to rise to stand. <laughs> Mine didn't work. Mine slipped out, but maybe you can do it. So you come into an airplane position. Yes, and kind of arms out to a T. Beautiful. So good. It's quite hard, but maybe give it a few rounds. Try it again. The higher you can get your foot up your arm, the easier it's going to stay in place. Show us how it's done, Amy. <laughs> yes, Chaya, that looked amazing. Good, take as many rounds as you want. It's kind of a funky little arm balance standing position. Kind of a play on that version where your hands are down and the um, foot's on the back of the elbow. Okay, all right, when you're finished playing with this shape, which I will try to demonstrate, but my foot is not cooperating. So something like this, but the arms are straight, yeah? Okay, we're gonna release and just let your ankle cross over your standing leg to fold. So right ankle should be in front of left. And we're just gonna take a little bow to kind of shake all that out. This is advanced vinyasa. We're doing all sorts of crazy stuff. We'll inhale, press to straight, arms flat back. And we'll find that revolved half moon again. So left leg lifts into the air, right arm up, gaze towards your right fingers. We're going to go right into the other side from here. So as you inhale, come all the way up to standing and bring your left knee in towards your belly for half mountain. Then exhale into your figure four squat. Stay here for a moment. Get that outer hip, outer glute. Beautiful. Now, as you're ready, the left tricep finds the sole of your left foot in twist. And again, think about bringing your foot up as high as you can get it on the back of your arm. Good, stay here for a moment. For three, two, 
two. And one, so clip your left toes into the back of your arm like you're trying to suction them on. And then inhale, rise up, bring your left leg with you. And your arms are out to a T. I'm just kind of holding onto my foot for dear life because my leg's not cooperating today, but. Yes, Nana or Nana, that looks so beautiful. Good, try it a few attempts. However many attempts you did on the other side, do them here. If you've been holding for a while, you're always welcome to just settle in to a position that finds you most aligned with your breath. Nice try, yeah, there it is. There, nice Denise, so good. Pretty hard, right? <laughs> Okay, when you're finished playing with that crazy airplane pose, we're just gonna soften your left ankle to cross over your right and fold over your legs. Something to work on, something to play with in your practice at home. Take a moment of reprieve here by just bowing your head, connecting more fully with your breath again. And then we'll inhale, press to straight arms flat back. Lift your right leg into the air behind you and your left arm up as well. Good, then we're just gonna melt into a forward fold. Your right foot comes down in line with your left, left hand to the floor, bow over your legs. As you inhale, come all the way up to standing, circle your arms over your head. And then exhale, fold forward hands to the mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. All right, I've got one more crazy thing to play with and then we're gonna start to kind of cool our practice down. So as you inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, figure four down dog. So the pinky toe edge of your right foot at the top of your left thigh, hips high. And then we'll just exhale from here, lower down onto your shins for figure four table. You'll glide your right shin forward and walk your left leg back behind you. Forearms come down to the mat. Just a new funky way of getting into pigeon. For three. Two. And one. Start to inhale, press up to straight arms. Exhale, drop your weight onto your right hip. Swing your left leg around and bring your left foot into half lotus. So really pull your left foot into your right hip crease. Okay, I'm gonna face you so you can see this better. If you have bad knees, you're gonna wanna take a towel or double over your mat under your left knee. All right, we're gonna crawl up onto the knees. Then your left forearm comes parallel to the top edge of the mat. Right hand lines up with left fingers, palm down. You're gonna take the weight onto your left knee and extend your right leg out to the side. And then your right arm goes up into this half lotus fire hydrant shape. You can look at me if you're confused and then try to mirror the shape in your body. We did this maybe like, I don't know, a few months ago if you've been practicing with me for a while. Let's see, so good, yes, Amparo, amazing, for three, nice, Sue, two, there it is, Manuela, and one. Okay, from here, your right hand's gonna come back to the floor. You're gonna slide your right leg in behind your left, 
Keep your feet separated so you can just walk into Gomukhasana. Your left thigh is wrapped over your right and you just slide your hands long to bow over your top knee. For three. Two. And one. Start to inhale, rise up. We'll crawl forward onto your knees and then pop off the tops of your feet. Unwind to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. This is it, last side. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale to figure four, down dog. Exhale to drop down to your shins. Inhale, glide your left shin forward for pigeon and walk your right leg back behind you. Stay here for three. Two. And one, start to inhale, press yourself back up. Drop your weight onto your left hip. Swing that right leg around and bring it into half lotus. Here we go again on the other side. So we crawl onto the knees. Right forearm parallel to the top edge of the mat. Left fingers line up with right toes. You're gonna press the weight onto your right knee and then extend your left leg out to the side for fire hydrant. Left arm goes up, hold for five. Four. Three, two, and one. Left hand drops to the floor. Left knee slides behind your right. Your feet separate so you can crawl back into a lazy gomukhasana. Arms out in front of you as your chin melts over your top knee. Great work. This was a kind of a crazy one. <sighs> Three, two, and one. Start to inhale, lift your head, crawl forward onto your knees and pop off the tops of your feet to chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Let's inhale, come all the way through to seated. Find Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet to touch, thumbs to the arches of your feet. You'll peel them open like a book as you exhale, bow over your legs. Last two. And one, start to inhale, rise up. 
Exhale to walk your hands back behind you. Fingertips will face towards your bum so you can lower down onto your forearms. Now, this is not obviously the full expression of Matsyasana, but we're just gonna lift the chest and drop the head back. You can always move into that if you want to, but this is a little bit more restorative for now. Oh, maybe the crown of your head can come to the floor. Your hands might even find the inner thighs. For three. Two. And one. You'll gently tuck your chin, zip your knees together, lie down on your back, and slingshot your legs up into the air for shoulder standing. Hands come to your low spine. Balls of the feet press towards the sky like you've got little Barbie feet on. Maybe we've all seen the Barbie movie. <laughs> and then if you want to intensify your shoulder stand, you can bring your hands to the tops of your thighs and take unsupported shoulder stand. Last two. And one, you'll hinge at your hip line for plow, halasana. Just bring your toenails to the floor behind you. Now we aren't gonna stay here long. Let's release your hands to the floor and just gently lower your spine down, one vertebrae at a time. Split your left heel to the mat, draw your right knee in towards your belly. Take your left hand to the outside of your right knee and just drag it across your body for twist. Gaze over your right shoulder. And we're just starting to cool things down, closing out our practice. So if there's something that you need, you can always add that in. Let's inhale, tip back to center. Exhale, send your right leg long. Inhale, draw your left knee in. Exhale, take it across your body for twist. Inhale, tip back to center. Draw both knees into your belly and take happy baby. Find the outer edges of your feet with your hands and just gently sway from side to side to massage your back. Finishing our practice by lowering your feet to the floor and sliding your legs long. Hands come down to either side of your body, palms up. Take a full deep inhale through your nose. And a full deep exhale through your mouth. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Last one, inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Just let your jaw come unhinged. And your body melts.
If you have the time to stay in Shavasana, stay as long as you like. Otherwise, start to add life into your fingers and toes with gentle wiggles. Take a moment to swallow, lubricate your throat. Stretch your arms up and over your head. Take a big body on. And draw your knees in towards your belly. Gently rolling to one side. Create a pillow with your arms. And just take a moment here to drink in the benefits of your practice. And to reflect on your innate ability to down-regulate your fight-or-flight response with simple yet effective breathing. As you inhale, press yourself into a comfortable seat. Bring your hands together at heart center. And let's take three deep breaths to close our practice down. Deep inhale through your nose for mind. Inhale, body. Inhale, spirit. The light in me honors and shines the light in you. Namaste.